welcome to the Career Tipper Podcast, hosted by professional development author and coach, Michelle Beatty. The Career Tipper Podcast shares career advancement tips and resources for a variety of industries to assist professionals to keep their soft and technical skills recharged, competitive, and higher ready. Welcome to Episode 2 of Career Tipper Podcast, Season 1 of Skills Recharged. I'm your host, Michelle Beatty, professional development author and coach. During this episode, I'm sharing a high-level overview of the technical skill, cloud computing. Did you know that LinkedIn listed cloud computing as the number one hard skill to know in 2019? As more workloads transition to the cloud, the need to bridge the skills gap in the current workforce to drive successful deployments and adoption is in demand. Companies use cloud services to help lower operating costs, run infrastructure more efficiently, and scale as business needs change. Cloud computing is the delivery of computing services over the internet, also known as the cloud to store, manage, and process data. Any kind of information in terms of data or applications which is stored at the cloud can be retrieved over the network anytime and anywhere. Cloud computing offers faster innovation, flexible resources, and economies of scale, according to Microsoft and Wiz Labs. Enterprise software and IT services lead the way as overall IT spending will hit $3.8 trillion in 2019, according to Gartner Analysts. According to Forrester's Predictions 2019 Cloud Computing Report, the global cloud market will exceed $200 billion this year. I want to share a bit of David Lithicom, the Managing Director and Chief Cloud Strategy Officer with Deloitte Consulting Perspective from his blog post, Cloud Career Advice, Pick a Specialty. You can't understand everything about cloud-based technology. There is just too much of it. Jacks and, may I add, Jills of all cloud trades and the cloud industry are typically regarded as people who know very little about a lot of things. A better approach is to find a specialty. You might think that means knowing a lot about a specific cloud service, such as ops monitoring for a major public cloud provider. No, it's more about specializing in the basics of a cloud segment, such as security, governance, DevOps, performance, and also the technology that is specific to the technology segment. One of five cloud predictions for 2019 from Steve Robinson, the general manager with IBM Hybrid Cloud, is that cloud skills and culture will be the key to cloud adoption. As organizations embrace a hybrid multi-cloud approach, IT organizations will undergo a cultural shift in the way that they work. They will need teams equipped with the new skill sets, such as cross-platform tool and automation experience and knowledge of API management and data integration best practices. Job titles such as cloud architect, cloud project manager, cloud service broker, and cloud automation engineer will become increasingly common to manage emerging hybrid cloud environments. Now, here are six suggested steps that you can take to determine if cloud computing is a right fit skill for you to pursue. Number one, please go to careertipper.com and download the skills recharge guide that I created for you. It is free. Number two, research cloud computing platforms and their certifications. Here are a few suggestions. Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, Alibaba Cloud, Cloud Security, and Salesforce. Number three. Master the skill of how to build a successful business case for cloud computing. Be able to communicate why or why not cloud deployment needs to occur. 
I want to share snippets of another blog post by David Lithicom determining the value of cloud for your enterprise. Just spell C-A-T. The acronym CAT is a simple way to remember the areas of focus. C is for cost efficiency. While this was the primary focus of cloud computing in the past, it's only part of the value equation now. However, you do need to determine how much money cloud computing could save by reducing the amount of money spent on as-is IT, meaning traditional systems versus cloud-based systems. A is for agility. While it's often an afterthought and actually very difficult to measure, the true value of cloud computing is the ability to quickly change. What cloud brings to most enterprises and what provides the most value is the ability to quickly adapt to business needs such as building a new product line or acquiring a company. T is for time to market. While directly related to agility, it's a bit different. Time to market value of cloud computing means your ability to move fast versus change fast. This means that cloud computing can provide you with the ability to provision servers as quickly as they are needed for any business purpose, such as expanding a product line, automating a mobile application that focuses on customers, or moving faster to increase product production. Number four, research edge computing. It's an approach that brings the cloud's capabilities closer to the devices generating the data. Goldman Sachs researches Heather Bellini sees this technology supplementing the cloud to unlock new real-time data applications. From telling self-driving trucks when to break to alerting oil drills when to change course. Number five. Additional potential job areas to research related to cloud computing are product management, operations, field sales, and customer service. Number six, develop an understanding of the cloud service models, infrastructure as a service, known as IS, platform as a service, known as PaaS, and software as a service, known as SaaS. Thank you for listening. I do want to know if you plan on recharging your skills through cloud computing. You can get in touch with me at careertipper.com, on Instagram and Facebook at careertipper, and on Twitter at careertipper1. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Career Tipper Podcast. We're grateful for our listeners. For more resources about how to keep your skills recharged, visit careertipper.com. Follow Michelle on Instagram and Facebook at Career Tipper and on Twitter at Career Tipper One. Until next time, stay curious. Bye.